For all those times you stood by me For all the truth that you made me see For all the joy you brought to my life For all the wrong that you made right For every dream you made come true For all the love I found in you I'll be forever thankful, baby You're the one who held me up Never let me fall You're the one who saw me through Through it all You were my strength when I was weak You were my voice when I couldn't speak You were my eyes when I couldn't see You saw
us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that on this joyous occasion we can come into your presence and ask your divine blessing upon these that are about to be joined in holy matrimony. We pray, gracious Father, that your blessing would not only be given to them today, but each and every day as they walk through life together as husband and wife. Watch over them, grant to them the desires of their heart, for we ask this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God on the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate, instituted of God, signifying unto us the mystical union which is between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee. Marriage is commended in the Bible to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered in unadvisedly, but soberly and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. Becoming more sacred in the estimation of men, marriage has existed from the beginning of human history. Those who take its vows are brought into the closest and most sacred of human relationships. Their lives are blended into one as the waters of confluent streams are mingled and henceforth they must share the joys and sorrows of life. And from this close and intimate relationship springs obligations of the most solemn and lasting character. The husband is under obligation to place around the wife his protecting care, to shield her from the rough storms of the world, to cling to her with unfaltering fidelity and cherish her with unfailing affection and to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. The wife is under obligation to love and to cherish her husband, to honor him and sustain him and to be true to him in all ways. Each of you are under obligation to fulfill the love ordained of God as recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This love of which I speak is slow to lose patience. Love looks for way of being constructive. Love is not possessive. It is neither anxious to impress, nor does it cherish inflated ideas of its own importance. Love has good manners. It is not interested in selfish advantage. Love is not touchy. It does not compile statistics of evil or gloat over the wickedness of other people. On the contrary, love is glad with all good men when truth prevails. For love knows no limit to its endurance, no end to its trust, no fading of its hope. It can outlast anything. It is in fact the one thing that still stands when all else has fallen. Will you, Thomas, have this woman whose hand you hold to be your wedded wife? and solemnly promise that you loyally fulfill your obligation as a husband to protect her, honor her, love her, and cherish her in adversity as well as in prosperity, and keep yourself unto her alone so long as you both shall live. I will. Will you, Marisol, have this man whose hand you hold to be your wedded husband, and solemnly promise that you'll be unto him a tender, loving, and true wife, through sunshine and shadow alike, and be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. I will. I, Thomas. I, Thomas. Take thee, Marisol. Take thee, Marisol. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Marisol. I, Marisol. Take thee, Thomas. Take thee, Thomas. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. We read in the Old Testament that when God made a covenant with Noah, he set a rainbow in the cloud as a token of that covenant, and God said, I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant. From this we learn that it is well for us when we enter into solemn agreement one with the other to set apart some reminder of what we have promised. 
as tokens of your marriage covenant, you have each selected a ring of gold. Yeah. Gold, precious among metals, fittingly represent the precious ties that unite husband and wife. These rings, endless until broken by outside forces, are fit symbols of the unbroken partnership of marriage which should continue until broken by death. Let them be unto you a constant reminder of your obligations to each other and silent incentive to their fulfillment. For as much as the husband imparts to his wife his name and receives her into his care and keeping, I give this ring to you, Thomas, place it upon the wedding finger of your bride and say to her these words. I, Thomas. I, Thomas. Give this ring to you, Marisol. Give this ring to you, Marisol. And by this act declare. And by this act declare. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. That I take you to be. That I take you to be. My beloved wife. My beloved wife. That I will be unto you. That I will be unto you. A faithful husband. A faithful husband. Until death shall part us. Until death shall part us. Marisol, take this ring which you have selected and place it upon the wedding finger of your groom and say to him these words. I, Marisol. I, Marisol. Give this ring to you, Thomas. Give this ring to you, Thomas. And thus declare. And thus declare. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. That you are the husband of my choice. That you are the husband of my choice. Given to me by God. Given to me by God. That I will be faithful to you. That I will be faithful to you. Until death shall part us. Until death shall part us. Thus you are to wear these rings as the enclosing bond of reverence and trust. You both are to fulfill the perfect circle of duty that makes you one. As you hope for happiness in your married life, I charge you to be true to the vows you have taken. With your marriage, you begin life under new conditions and with larger responsibilities. And it is only by faithfully performing the duties and fulfilling the obligations of this new relationship that true and lasting happiness can be found. For as much as you, Thomas, you, Marisol, have openly declared your wishes to be united in marriage, and in the presence of God and before these witnesses have pledged love and fidelity each to the other, and have confirmed the same by each giving and receiving a ring, and by the joining of hands, I, as a minister of Christ Church, and legally authorized so to do by the state of New Jersey, pronounce now that you are husband and wife. Thomas, God well this woman who now commits herself to your keeping, strive so to live that no word or deed of yours shall cloud her brow with sorrow or dim her eyes with tears. Marisol, strive to retain by your virtues the heart that you've won by your graces. And to you both, let not your voices lose the tender tones of affection. Let not your eyes forget the gentle ray in which they shone in courtship's day. So you'll find in your union an unfail unfailing source of joy being one in name, one in aim, and one in happy destiny together. You may kiss the bride.
and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Wayne Manor. At this time, we're getting ready to welcome in our bridal party. Muy buenas noches, señoras y señores, y bienvenidos a the Wayne Manor. En este momento vamos a hacer las introducciones de la corte matrimonial. Vamos a empezar, bueno, antes de empezar, queremos que demuestren mucha, mucha energía. We want to show a lot of energy. We want to ask you to Thank you. 